Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to be showing you all of my Trials of the Nine loot times two characters. Now I would have loved to throw in another character into this video, but unfortunately my third character is not even done the Destiny 2 storyline. So we can't go into Trials of the Nine, let alone get loot from the third Spire. So on our first character here, we're hopping on our main Titan and we got ourselves a lot of stuff from just handing in tokens. We got ourselves armor, a bunch of weapons, and I think if I'm not mistaken, I actually opened up three packages which is quite a lot for one weekend of trials of the nine from the very first engram here we got the long walk and this is probably the most common duplicate that i get from trials of the nine this is like my fourth sniper which is kind of insane because it's only the second week of trials of the nine and that kind of shows you how often loot really drops I was hunting one specific item for this weekend of Trials of the Nine, and since I've already ran it on all of my characters, I can tell you guys that I did not get it. Now, I'm not going to spoil the video and tell you guys what that weapon is, or what that piece is, actually, but I kind of just told you it is, a, a, it is a weapon. So, there's one weapon that I'm actually missing from Trials of the Nine. I did not get it this weekend, and that had me pretty bummed out, but you know what? We got ourselves the SMG, which was the second last item I needed from Trials of the Nine. So, I was pretty hyped up with that pick right there you can choose between the shoddy the smg and i believe the pulse rifle and i have all those things other than the smg so i picked that up and i was only left with one more item and i actually did not get it on this character or my other character so i was bummed out about that but I was kind of happy because as you guys will see later on in the video, we got a lot of stuff that I've been hunting for a long time within Destiny 2, and that kind of balanced everything out and made this weekend or this day so far really good for myself from a progression point of view. I have so many exotic weapons now, I have so many exotic armor pieces, I'm honestly getting very close to having like all the exotics in the game, which is kind of mind-blowing since the game has only been out for like a week and a, not a week and a half, two weeks I'd say. So here we are in the flawless room at the third spire, and we got a choice of the chest piece or the boots now i personally chose the chest piece because i did not have that and i think you know the chest piece is a little bit more important than the boots because it takes up more area on your guardian and and so if you have one chest piece that looks cool over boots I, I think that's a win in my opinion but anyways it doesn't matter because we hopped on our second character later and picked up the boots but that's neither here or there right now we also have uh the flawless gear set for the gauntlets or the gauntlet piece i should say as well so we're getting extremely close to getting a full set of the flawless gear and that has me extremely hyped we also got ourselves the trials of the nine aura which you guys have all seen many times before it's really nothing that special um it's just a little glowing green circle or half circle i should say around your head we also are opening up some legendary engrams, bright engrams, and getting a lot of luminous engrams because we actually did that 7-0 flawless card. Uh, we gained a lot of levels and stuff. We got engrams and all that good stuff. So we got the bad news hand cannon earlier there. Uh, we also opened up a bright engram and got ourselves a small gift of bright currency, which is actually a very good thing to get for me specifically because I do want to pick up every single one of the exotic ornaments. I'm somebody that's super OCD with, uh, with this game. I love to collect absolutely every exotic weapon, every exotic armor piece. I love getting every exotic ornament. I'm basically like just a massive nerd when it comes to hoarding as much shit as possible. So I want to get full sets of stuff. I want to get all the exotics. And that was awesome because I now or later on will pick up the, uh, the Skyburner's Oath from my vault. And I'm also going to go ahead and pick up that specific ornament. Now here is another awesome drop right here. We went ahead, opened up a Luminous Engram and it gave us the Sui Business. This is an exotic weapon that I did not have previously. So that was an awesome pickup for me specifically. And then we went ahead and got our down a business exotic ornament from the vault and slapped it right on our weapon so we nailed two birds with one stone right there we got ourselves the weapon and the exotic ornament from earlier that we had and we put it right on and uh, that was super satisfying i'm not gonna lie to you guys and then right after that i decided you know what i might as well go ahead pick up the skyburner's oath exotic ornament right now because i have it in my vault and after this week the weapon ornaments are going to change so i might as well pick it up right now so there it is we picked it up and um, i'll show you how this looks 
looks on my Skyburner's Oath right now. The Skyburner's Oath by itself honestly doesn't look that great. The weapon itself is unique as heck, but the skin on it doesn't look that great. But um, the one that we put on there makes it red and, and totally Cabal themed, which I definitely enjoy. So moving on to our second character here, we got ourselves three engrams from the very first NPC. That's how many um, Trials of the Nine tokens we had. And believe it or not, guys, we didn't even get the one weapon that I was looking for, which is the hand cannon. We got the prosecutor. We got a call to serve. We got the SMG. We got all this stuff other than the hand cannon well don't worry guys we still have three more opportunities to get ourselves the weapon nope we got ourselves another prosecutor right there um by thy champion which i swear to god that's like my 10th one and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second stage of uh of this platform and we're gonna go ahead and hope for a hand cannon will we get it that is the question right here ladies and gents it's the last weapon i need from trials of the nine is it gonna be here nope we got ourselves the uriel's gift and the crushing plate now i'm actually pretty hyped with the crushing plate because i now have a full set of the crushing armor which is kind of insane that's not the flawless armor just the regular trials armor that anybody can get um, but that was pretty cool because i now have a full set of that and um yeah we got ourselves a uriel's gift now if i didn't have the uriel's gift i would have been extremely hyped there we did not get the hand cannon it's a duplicate so it's whatever and then here we are we got ourselves a choice of the pulse rifle the smg and the shotgun again i have all three of them so i just picked up the pulse rifle for no specific reason and uh yeah that's basically a telltale sign guys that i did not get the hand cannon and um i'm pretty sad about that honestly that's the last weapon that i want i heard it's extremely good and i just don't have it and then here we are guys we get ourselves the boots um which is very sick because all i need now is the helmet i'll have myself a full set of the annihilating gear which i'd love to make a video on in the near future but that is going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed a like rating would be very much appreciated on the video subscribe for more daily destiny 2 content have yourselves a great day and i'll see you all later peace